Hey guys, it's Isaac, we can take to coming to you with a tweak review of Call Bar. This is provided by the Big Boss people for $3.99 in the Cydia store, and you can go ahead and get that right now. It does work with iOS 5, and let's get into this review. Uh, so you can, first of all, go head over to the settings application to set it up. So let's go ahead and do that. And here is Call Bar. Alright, so first of all, you're obviously going to have to enable it. Um, and the basic thing that Call Bar does is it allows you to have this little menu here. All right, there we go. Um, I couldn't hit the status bar. Um, but basically, you get these few options here. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Um, you can choose a contact or enter a number. Uh, and, and you can, like, here's your favorites. And then there's the recent calls. Um, and here's your contacts, the keypad, and your voicemail. Uh, so you can basically, it, it basically just makes an easier way of accessing um, the calling application. Like, rather than going to your phone application, you have to dial everything. Um, you can just anywhere like I set a gesture um, to if you I hold this if I hold my thumb or any finger actually I'm, I'm the status bar so if you just hold the status bar it'll have this little menu that pops up and basically allows you to call from anywhere in your phone rather than having to go to the the phone application to make a call um, and back to the settings app now it says uh, use it lock screens and that's like when you get a call rather than saying um, answer or decline at your lock screen it'll have this little call bar that I'll test in a little bit um, It'll have this call bar that comes up at this top. It'll look kind of like this, except it'll say, rather than having these options here, it'll have the caller's name, and uh, you can swipe to the right to answer or swipe to the left to decline it. Uh, so it's a little bit cooler way than just pressing accept or decline. It's a lot nicer, in my opinion, and it's just it's just cool overall. Dial dialer activation method. But if we uh, scroll down here, um, you can see this is where I got it, mine right here. Status bar, hold. Um, so you you can set any um, activator uh, gesture method in here to activate the call bar, and I just currently have it to set to um, hold on this uh, hold on the uh, the bar there, and I'll give you a test now and I'll show you how this works. And actually, I'm gonna go through the rest of the settings um, while my iPod is booting up to do a a, a call uh, test here. I'm not gonna go through all the settings, but basically you can see these are all the ones I have on. Uh, I'll go through a few of them here. You have like the option uh, for FaceTime call bar. Like if someone FaceTimes you, it'll appear in the call bar rather than having to accept or decline. Same thing with Skype and um, Viber call bar. I'm not sure what that is. I'm just going to assume that like a third party app, kind of like how Skype is, but uh, whatever that is, I have it on. So, uh, but you may know what that is if you use that app or whatever it is. And um, if you're using your device when you receive the call, or actually anytime you receive a call, you have the option right here, um, pressing lock button. So like when you press the lock button to go into, um, to, to lock your device and go to the lock screen, or just to uh, turn off the display if you're already at the lock screen, uh, you can choose to where it just locks the device or if it will decline the call. So if you're like using my phone right now and I receive a call and I press the lock button, it'll go to the lock screen and decline the call, or it'll just go to the lock screen. So you can choose to which one you want. And there's also um, a call bar guide and frequently asked questions in here, which may explain what this Viber call bar is um, if you decide to go ahead and get this tweak. But my iPad has booted up already, so let's go ahead and um, do a FaceTime test. All right, so let's go ahead and make this test call here. And you can see I'm calling myself, and it is going through. Um, Let's see if it'll focus here. All right, so there you can see. And if I slide to the left, it'll decline. If I slide to the right, it'll answer it. So just slide to the left, and you can see it just declines it. And over here on the iPod, um, it said FaceTime unavailable. So there you go. That is call bar. Um, if I would have slid to the right, it would have answered it. Uh, but I didn't. It, I didn't want to have to uh, enter the call and go through the complications of it echoing and stuff. Um, but so it, that's basically it. It works at phone calls, FaceTime, Skype, um, and whatever that Viber thing was. I, I'm going to assume it's some kind of third party app, but it may not be. So, whatever that is, um, those are all the settings. I went through them all, uh, and that pretty much sums up Call Bar for you guys. Uh, it is again $3.99 in the city store provided by the Big Wasp repo, and uh, it is available now. And it's basically it. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can like it down below. I'll appreciate that. You can also subscribe to top, you know, if I release my new videos. Um, I'll have more tweak reviews to come and unboxings and other tech stuff that I'll have on my channel. And subscribe to the top will notify you when I release that content. And that basically finishes up this video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.